What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We have got a week in the life of DTE this week. Got a few motors booked in, MOTs, services, brakes and what have you. I thought I'd bring you guys along for the ride from Monday to Friday. It's just gone half eight in the morning. We're already started. Let's have a look and see what's in first. First of all, my dad's van. That's booked in for an MOT today. That's my old van. I put an engine in it. It's a 1.6 HDI. Put an engine from a Ford Focus 1.6 TDCI in it a couple of years ago. I used it, sold it to my old man. He now owns it. It's out of MOT. We need to get it on the ramp and see what it needs before dropping it down to the MOT place. We've got an Astra. That is an MOT failure from last week. We've got two worn tires and we've got a knackered coil spring. That one's nice and easy. We have also got a Mark V Golf. That failed its MOT on headlight beam. Someone's obviously changed the bulb and not put the bulb in correctly. And we've got a split drop link rubber. So a new drop link, sort the headlight bulb out, two retests. Then at lunchtime, Audi A3, my buddy Brian is coming over to fit his new turbo core. Got it on the ramp. And this is a quick rundown on what you need to check for MOT. If you've got an MOT coming up, this is what you need to check. I've done MOT work for about 10 years, maybe more. So I half know, or mostly know, what they're gonna look at. First of all, I'm going to look at the front. Spin the wheel. If it's rough and it's a wheel bearing, you'll feel it in the spring. So you can spin the wheel, feel the spring. If the spring is smooth, it's all good. If you spin the wheel and it's rough, it's a wheel bearing. Nice and easy test there. Now we've got a bit of left to right. So I'm turning it left to right. And there's a little bit of play there. But if I remember rightly, that's in one of the steering joints, one of the UJs, but it's ever so slight. If you turn it left to right and you've got a bit of a donking, it's sometimes either the track rod end, the inner tie rod, the inner wishbone bushes, or the ball joint. Um, and if you do get a bit of wiggle, you need to jack it up off the floor. I'm not saying you can lift it on a ramp, because not everyone's got a ramp. Just jack it up and you can do the left to right test. If you can feel a a donking look from underneath and get someone else to look this one is all good we've got apart from the little bit on the steering joint everything else is fine then i'm going to do top to bottom top to bottom will highlight wheel bearing and if it's really bad a suspension top mount but we've got no play on this i'll go and check the other side for the same movement and see what's going on and uh, then a quick visual inspection of all bushes so under here, we've got ball joint bushes, CV joint, CV boot, inner and outer, and your steering rack boot. Believe it or not, if you've got no play in your wheel, but you've got a split in one of these rubbers, whether it be your ball joint rubber, CV boot, inner or outer, or your steering rack, uh, track rod end, even if there's a split in the boot, it's a failure, surprisingly, because even if the ball joint's got loads of movement, or movement, but no split in the boot, that's an advisory. But if the boot is split, that is a failure. So visual inspect, quickly look at the inner CV boots, look at all the boots, look at all the rubbers. And uh, yeah, this one's really good. This, this van weathers really well. Peugeot Partner, 1.6 HDI. I didn't have to do anything for MOT last year. Yeah, it's really good. And then obviously, check your tires. A screw in your tire is an advisory, but not a failure. But obviously if it's worn down, normally tyres wear on the inside. All four of these are good. My old man put four Bridgestones on it when he got it. So yeah, it's all good. I've already checked the other side and that's fine. Let's have a look on the back. Again, the same, I'm gonna spin it. All good. Uh, a bit of left to right, a bit of up and down. No movement at all in there. Absolutely, this van is so good. Let me just check the other side because I haven't checked the rear. Nothing, nothing, all good. And then you're gonna look underneath. You're gonna look at brake pipes. Let me just shimmy under here. You, let's get the camera. So then we're gonna look underneath. And what we're gonna look at, we're gonna look at your shocks. If you've got any moisture or fluid leaking down your shocks, your shocks are petered out. But you can see original shocks on that absolutely lovely then we're going to check brake lines front to rear the hard pipes and look because this is a Peugeot they're still covered in a black coating 
yeah absolutely brilliant on this same again this side um yeah very nice this little bit of fluid here is from when we done a brake shoes a couple of years ago and the brake fluid obviously it leaked out the nipple a little bit but that's all good then we've got rubber brake hoses somewhere on here there's some rubber brake hoses hiding up there check them for corrosion they start to crack and if they do crack they're an advisory but they are a pass. Other than that, you're going to want to look at corrosion. Then you're going to look at your inner seals. They're still nice and straight. Um, a little bit of fluffing on them, but it's like 2009 van. Other than that, they do age so well. Um, exhaust. We've got a little split in the back box. It doesn't blow. There's no soot. Might be an advisory. No, uh, no concern at the moment. The rest of the exhaust, all intact, all original. Um, yeah, very nice fuel lines and a fuel cooler no not beaten up not leaking or anything like that just going to check the brake hoses on the front as i haven't done that yet brake hoses yeah look at them very nice um i did mention but we've got no split rubbers no split boots no split ball joint boots this side had a new drop link um yeah this van is such a good van peugeot partner at the moment is all good Obviously, we're going to check for lights, side lights on, two side lights on the front, side lights on the back, number plate bulbs, then we've got brake lights, indicators, and what can be an advisory, if you have got a clear lens on your indicator, you just want to check that the bulbs are still orange. If the paint or the coating starts to wear off, they can flash clear, and that's an advisory too. Don't want too many advisories, so I'm going to check all the bulbs, put some fresh washer jet fluid in it, and I think this is good for MOT. Bulbs are all good. We've got a full house. Last but not least, let's check inside. I've just put some washer jet fluid in. Let's fire it up. Washer jets both spray in and both wipers are good. Last but not least. Oh uh, yeah. I'll drop this one down and uh, we'll see how it gets on. Peugeot Partners dropped down for MOT. We're waiting for a new coil spring for the Astra. So while we wait for that, let's look at the Mark 5 Golf. Mark 5 Golf failed its MOT on a drop link rubber split. I was mentioning that in the Peugeot Partner MOT check. Drop link rubber split and we've got a wonky headlight bulb, both on the offside. So let's look at this bulb. I reckon someone's put a bulb in wrong and it's not right. Can you see the bulb in there? Well, behind that little cap in the middle, you can see the bulb is sitting square. Let's look at the offside. Can you see that bulb? Sat in wonky. So the customer's done his own bulb and he's put it in maybe 180 degrees out. Let's quickly do the bulb and then let's get this wheel off and look at this drop link. I've got the plug out the way and you can see there's a little wire clip and I can already see the bulb is 180 degrees out. I won't be able to get my hand in there and film it. Let me quickly unclip this. We'll spin it upside down and see if the bulb sits better. Got it unclipped. Hopefully you can see the bulb. So let me pull it out and spin it round 180. Bosh, there he is. Nice and square. It was sat wonky before like that. Now that's in nice and straight. Put the clip back on. Put the plug on put the cap on let's look at the drop link this is ranty roll bar drop link and we can see on the bottom there's a rubber and there's also a rubber tucked behind the back it's quite hard to see i can only just feel it with my fingers surprised the mot man spotted it but he did i'm going to clean these threads off a wire wheel bit of squirt i'll try gunning them off otherwise you have to get an allen key in the middle then get a spanner and work it off sometimes drop links can be a pain and normally i'll go straight in with a grinder and cut the bolt straight off that saves a lot of time but let's buzz these off and let's check out this drop link so drop link is off and this rubber can we see hanging right out it had no play in it well, there's a little bit of play in it but it wasn't donking rubber's split and it just so happens i had my pal darren down uh him and a few caddy mates come down i, fi I fixed a few bits on their vans and we replaced his drop links and these were mint Darren, if you're watching this, I'm using one of your old drop links because if we offer that up there, Volkswagen Caddy is the same as Mark 5 Golf, so happy days. Drop link is on, happy days, Mark 4 Caddy. 
Mark 4 Caddy? Or is it Mark 3? Uh, facelift Mark 3 Caddy to Mark 5 Golf Drop Link. Thank you very much, Darren. And I will mention to the customer that it's a used one, but it is a mint used one. Um, I do like a, a used part, as long as it's good condition. And uh, saves the customer a bit of money. I had it in stock. Happy days. So it is just gone half past nine. We've already looked at one, dropped it down for MOT. This MOT failure is done. I'm going to get the Astra on. We get the Astra on and see what's going on with that. Astra's up on the ramp and can we see this small coil? Oh yeah. If we go to this side, missing, completely snapped off. It's a common voxel thing, happens a lot. Happens on all motors, but mainly voxels. I don't know what the springs are made of, but it's not very good. We've got a new spring coming, so I'm gonna undo this bolt, gonna get a jack on the floor with a piece of wood, take in the load, take the bolt out, then lower the jack. This will lower down. It might lower down enough just undoing one bolt. If it doesn't lower down enough to get the spring out, I'll have to undo the other bolt and lower the whole axle, only the back end. We haven't got to undo the front bolts or anything like that. We just need to undo the bottom shock bolts. Then this will lower down, stick the new spring in. Let's get this one hanging out and wait for the new spring. We got the bolt out and my jack and piece of wood is here. And if you're only undoing one side, you probably can get away with no block of wood. If you're undoing both sides, make sure you've got something supporting it because when you undo both, this does drop right down. Let's see if this spring comes out. I'm just going to pull the wheel down and that is it. We've got a rubber cup to go on top. All right. Let me show you this. That seagull better not go anywhere near my van. I will not be happy. He's looking like he wants to. Anyway, I'm waiting on the new spring. I'll pull it down by hand. I'll put the new spring in and we'll jack it up, put the bolt in and there, this one should be done because it has failed on two front tires, but I'm not getting involved with those. The MOT place are doing them. Got the suspension bolt or the bottom shock bolt taken out the other side. We've got a bit of wood in place and now it's going to go a lot further. So I'm able to get the spring in. She's in place. Jack it back up. And sometimes these bolts can go in a bit skew with. So pay extra attention to getting them in nice and square. I want to get it in a few turns by hand before doing it up. That is it. I'm going to do this bolt up. I'm going to put that bottom uh, shock bolt back in. I'm not doing the tyres on the front. It's just gone half 10. We've got two MOT failures done and one drop down for MOT. <sighs> it's going pretty well today. I have got my friend Brian coming over at lunchtime. We're going to have a look at his turbo on the A3. Let's skip to then. So my jobs are done for the day. My pal Brian's here. His a 3s on the ramp. I did mention he's got a blown turbo. And check this out. So that's the old core. One half snapped. That's snapped. We've cleaned up the VNT, put it all back together. Quite fiddly to do that. Uh, no more instructions on that. I'm sure we will another day. Anyway, that's all good to go. We've got a new turbo core. We've got all new gaskets. We're going to put the core in the turbo, stick it back on, and... Uh, Hopefully it runs good. Let's get on to it. So it is the following day. Today is Tuesday. I didn't get any more footage yesterday. We fitted the turbo to my pal Brian's motor. Audi A3. That was all working. Made loads of smoke. When you fit a turbo on a motor that was blown before, all the oil goes in the exhaust. Made a right mess. Anyway, that's all done. It's Tuesday. Got a few jobs in today. Uh, yesterday, jobs went to plan nice and easy. All motors MOT'd. Everyone's happy. They've all gone. Cleared out my car park. Happy days. Uh, last night, after I'd done the turbo, I did get my headlights rubbed down and re-lacquered. I also 
Got my grill gloss blacked for the caddy. More on that on a separate video. It is it's Tuesday today, so tomorrow it's the Caddy Club UK meet at Blue Water again. Looking forward to that. Um, also, because I helped my friend Brian out loads, I said to him during the day, I want a chainsaw. Brought me over a chainsaw. Nice one, Brian. Um, why do you want a chainsaw? Oh, I just want a chainsaw, isn't it? Anyway, enough jibber jabber. Uh, motor's a beer soon. We're having a quick spruce up. Let's get on with it. So, first job is in. Hyundai iX35, a little bit later than expected. I thought he was coming in at nine, it's now 10. Hour wasted, well not an hour wasted because I focused on playing with my caddy headlights, putting some LED bulbs in. Anyway, I have got three motors in today. It might be a bit of a busy day. I have got a Mark IV Fiesta for MOT work, rear beam bushes, a few other bits. And I've also got uh, a Mazda. Those two are for MOT tomorrow. So I have to get them fixed today. This tire's a bit flat, better put some wind in it. This is for front and rear pads. Front and rear pads are on their way. Gonna get the wheels off, strip the brake pads out, and we'll catch up. I've already popped the bonnet and uh, took the brake pot cap off, because when you push the brake fluid back up the system, you want the cap off. You don't want to burst anything. That is all four wheels cracked off. Lift it up, get the buzz gun, wheels off, get the brake pads out front and rear, because discs are good. Let's get to it. Pads are done, front and rears. Two 40 mil bolts, one at the top, one at the bottom. Push the piston back in. Make sure the pins move in and out. A little bit of grease. Clean out the runners where the pads sit. A little bit of copper grease, top and bottom, nice and simple. Exactly the same for the rear. All done, lower it back down, put the wheels on, bar them up, pump the brake pedal, put the brake fluid cap on, take it for a run. This one's all done. Got about an hour till the next one gets here. So I'm gonna get on with putting the caddy back together and get a bit ahead for tomorrow's caddy meet. Caddy's all back together. It's actually a few hours later and I have been slogging away. Front end's back together. I need to wash and polish it for tomorrow, but that will have to wait. Let's see what's going on in the workshop because I am being beaten up. This one's here, MOT for tomorrow. I've already started it. It's got a blowing exhaust, so that ain't straight through. We've got Sam's Transit here. And as you can see, over the past few weeks, couple of months, it's been having some love. That's been beating us up as well. What's going on, Grin? Hello. Um, it's a transit. It's rusty. It's transit, isn't it? It's yeah, rusty. it's rusty. It's transit. You know, <laughs> sisters. My sister's fella is down. They got quoted eight hundred quid for a work up in Lincoln. Lincoln gives it away. Um, so I said, bring it down here. I'll do it for a fiver. Well, that's what it feels like anyway. Turns out, and I see why it was eight hundred quid. I am doing rear beam bushes. I have whacked my hand twice getting the rear beam bushes out. We got poly bushes in there because they're a little bit easier, but that still beat me up. And uh, again, it's a Ford, so it's rusty. I'm just doing a little plate outside, inside, cutting it in nicely. I know it's an old Fiesta, but it's still nicer to cut it in nicely. And then we've got a little hole under here. Um, and this is booked in for an MOT tomorrow. I've got the caddy show tomorrow. It's busy, busy. We've got Andy here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, uh, he's keeping us company, keeping up the spirits. I'm going to crack on with this, and we'll see how it gets on later. You all right there, mate? Yeah, loving it. You loving your transit? Look at it. It does look good. For now. Who welded that in? Me, obviously. Nah, DTE, innit? Oh, yeah. No, it looks good. Nice priming out of a rattle can there, Grin. Um, it's seven o'clock. Oh mate, let me get a torch. Seven o'clock in the evening. I've welded the plate on the inside. We've got a poly bushed rear beam. I just need the shuts to go off a bit so we can put a new bolt in that manky handbrake cable that's still holding. Um, outside, we've got a cheeky little weld repair. It's not the prettiest, but it's good enough for the girls we date. Um, 
Other side, it's like a Schutz bomb, but it's welded, it's sealed. Another poly bush this side, and it's all good. We didn't have to weld the outside on this one, but it is a bit ropey. So, my sister doesn't have a lot of money. My sister doesn't have a lot of money. I need it to last as long as possible. Believe it or not, this Fiesta's only got 42,000 miles on it. So, preventative, uh, preventative maintenance, I'm gonna hit this with a grinder. <whistles> Q rust it, bit of zinc primer, bit of etch primer, and then I'm gonna put some Schutz wheel arches on it. What do I mean by that? I'm gonna tape a line and I'm gonna Schutz the wheel arches so it looked like a GTI. That way it should last a bit longer for her. Uh, yeah, happy days. We got the rear brakes, they weren't grabbing very well. They're drums, they normally grab really well. What is hanging off my thumb? Need to get the uh, drums off, clean all the gear out, see if there's any brake fluid in there or anything. If there is, then we need to get some cylinders, but I need to get the handbrake working better. And that is about it. I did book them in for an MOT tomorrow, but they have still got seven days left on their failure sheet. Might as well save my sister some more money. She might as well go back to the garage that failed it and get a free retest because I fixed everything on their list. Anyway, uh, we are still playing with stuff. Going to get something to eat. Grins on the blower. Got dinner at home? You having food? I have got dinner at home. But, but you like the sound of a Danio's. Dinner's in the dog. Yeah, oh. Danio's is always playing. Um, I've got this Mazda in for MOT tomorrow. It's got a blown exhaust. So I'm going to eat some food, do the handbrake on the Fiesta, and I'm getting that on the ramp. And that leaves me all day tomorrow to finesse the caddy. Or the well, transit. Well, yeah, it was worth a go. Anyway, let's crack on. Well, that's a pleasant surprise. We got the drum off and everything inside the drum is brand new. New wheel cylinders, new brake shoes. Happy days. They just need a bit of adjustment and they'll be working sweet. So yeah, happy days. Makes the end of the day that little bit easier. I'm gonna get this off the ramp and we get the Mazda on. So it's now nine o'clock, Tuesday. God, this is like six or seven motors in two days. I am not happy. Anyway, Mazda's on the ramp. We have just put Grin's door back on his transit, both the sliding door and the main door. He's going for MOT tomorrow. Uh, he's going to fill the spot of the Fiesta because I'm not taking the Fiesta down. He might as well have that slot with his transit. So we've just put that back together. Now I'm looking at the Mazda for MOT tomorrow. I said it had an exhaust blow and it's quite bad. So it's a Y pipe, it's a petrol, so an exhaust blow you can hear it a mile off. Anyway, we've got holes here and we've got holes all the way around there. If it was just one hole, I'd try welding it up, but it's literally all the way around. We need a new Y piece tomorrow and check out the bolts that I've got to undo. Holy smokes. How am I gonna attack that? Well, I'm gonna undo them off the back of the cat, lower the whole piece down on the floor, and then I'm just gonna cut through sideways with a grinder I can then squash that bolt flat and knock it out. Same again the other side. Same again over there. Four new nuts and bolts, a new Y piece, and hopefully these seal when it goes back together. Anyway, that is for tomorrow. I am going to quickly wash the caddy. Where is it? I'm gonna bring the caddy over, wash it, park it in here overnight so it doesn't get dusty, and then I'm gonna machine polish it tomorrow ready for Wednesday caddy meat. Ah, uh, yeah. So it is now Wednesday. I didn't get it washed last night. I ended up going to bed. I was pretty wiped out. Anyway, it's the day of the meat. As I believe we looked at the Mazda last night and the Y, the y piece of exhaust. It's absolutely shot. There's no repair in it. I can't get a new piece today. I can only get one for tomorrow. And I need my MOT slot for today because tomorrow and Friday's busy. So they know that. They're going to MOT it, probably fail it on the exhaust, but then it's only a retest tomorrow or Friday. Anyway, need to give it a hoover out, give it a wash, give it a rinse, get it in the workshop, squeegee it off, give it a polish. And uh, yeah, that is the only work I think I've got to do today. So I get to enjoy the day playing with my favourite van. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get on with it. Well, it's Thursday. A little bit tired this morning. Caddy meat last night. 
Again, what a great bunch of guys. Really nice to get out and see like-minded people that love pimping their vans. Really was good. Um, couple of clips, plenty of nice vans, and let's say there was 35 of them there. I reckon nearly 10 of them, eight to 10 of them, had the DTE stickers on the, on the vans. Really nice to see, made me feel good. Yeah, brilliant night. Didn't get back till about 12 o'clock, in bed about half 12. Just gone half eight on Thursday. I'm a little bit tired, but we have to crack on. My sister's motor, uh, her fella's going back today. So I wanna clean these off. Rusty wheel arches, preventative maintenance. So they haven't got loads of money, so I do my best and go a little bit further to try and keep it on the road for as long as possible while it's down here, because they live up the country. Got the grinder, I'm gonna clean this off. Then I'm gonna put some anti-rust solution, then I'm gonna put like a little wheel arch of shuts. It's not gonna look amazing, but uh, it's fine. And also he brought a tow bar down. He's asked if I could fit a tow bar. I absolutely hate fitting tow bars. Means taking the back bumper off this Fiesta that's probably never been off, so all the bolts are gonna be rusty or snap, but we have to crack on. So it's about an hour later. Work has been progressing. I did grind off all the paint and all the fluffiness. Then I give it a heavy coat of Q rust. That's going off, flashing off nicely. While that's going off, we haven't got much time today. So I am then cracking on with the tow bar. As you can see, we've got a tow bar and I'm a man of science. So you'll never hear me say, someone upstairs is looking out for me. But let's just say the planets have aligned today because all the bolts and screws have come out of this Mark V Fiesta. The tow bar went straight on. I've just got to do the wiring. So it's going pretty well. It's literally half 10 in the morning. We're progressing nicely. I do still have to do the Mazda later. And what I haven't mentioned in the weekly vlog, at about four o'clock every day, I go and have dinner with the missus and the kids. And then I come back and work the evenings. Uh, so yeah, it's going nice. Bumper's back on. I do still need to adjust the handbrake shoes. I've got the tunes pumping which is helping the day. So if I do a little edit, you'll get the idea of what we're listening to. Before copyright, roll on later. So, turned it round, and I have finished doing the shoots in. I got some shoots, done a tape line, and done a wheel arch. Um, doesn't look the prettiest, but it does the job, and it's gonna prolong the life of the car. Is it gonna stop the rust? No it will make it last a little bit longer. So if they can get a couple of years, three years would be nice, longer out the vehicle, happy days. I did have to make some little P-clips to hold the handbrake cable. Made them out of a bit of container, plastic container, cut them up, chopped them round, screwed them in. Again, they don't look too pretty, but I'm doing this on zero budget. And the plastic will actually probably last longer than a bit of metal. So, that's all done, turned it round, and I am just on to wiring. Yay. Done all the right hand side, I've poked the wires through on the right hand side, I'm just doing the left indicator, and with the kit, they even sent me a length of wire. So, wired it all into the right, just doing the left wire to run up to the plug, and that is last, and then we'll check it out. Um, and again, I'm doing it on zero budget, so it's, uh, I'm having to make do with what we've got. My sister is giving me some money, only enough to keep the lights on and feed my belly for a, a week or so. But uh, it's me sister, and I like to help my sister out. You only get one family, so I do my best to really help them out. They don't have a lot of money, so whatever I can do to save them some money is a win-win. And if my sister's happy, that makes me extremely happy. The boy's been texting me already. I get text messages from my six-year-old six son. It's pretty cool. It's fair night. I don't know if in your local town, once a year, the fair comes round, you have a carnival. More interruptions. Oh, and he's coming here too. Oh, and he's got wiring issues. I'm out. I'm out, don't bother stopping. Anyway, boy wants to go to the fair soon so i can finish this up later oh, he's coming in i'll rendezvous back to you so 
all done. Let's test the lights. I've got the lights turned off behind you guys, so I should be able to see a reflection. Side lights. Oh no, ignition, ignition, what? Oh uh, yeah. Right indicator. Oh uh, yeah, left. I can see it flashing on the wall, sweet. Brakes. Oh yes. Right indicator to see if the earth is good. Look at that. Happy days. So, I mentioned in the last shot, I did get interrupted, but he's a nice guy, so I let him off. Um, the boy wants to go to the fair. I say the boy. Two kids, my stepdaughter and the boy want to go to the fair, as well as dinner. So it is lucky that I have done this in good time because I've still got to do the, the Mazda exhaust. It hasn't turned up yet. I couldn't buy it somewhere locally. I couldn't buy it somewhere locally. I had to buy it offline. It said next day delivery, guaranteed, fast and free. We'll see, it's not here yet. If I have to go out, I'm gonna to have to leave a note on the door, but if it ain't here by the time I leave, I'm gonna to have to let the customer know his car's not ready today either. But he was happy yesterday anyway. Um, about a slight delay but it is what it is and this is why i'm trying to move away from fixing cars from customers completely to making videos because there's been two delays for two days and it's completely out of my hands now the customer some of them in the past would have been moaning to me what am i going to do about the school run what about this what about that well i don't know do you want me to ring Mazda and get you a thousand pound exhaust? Or do you want me to get you a hundred pound exhaust off the tinter web, but you've got to wait two days? Either or, it's out of my hands. I'm sorry I can't help. Oh, how much is it going to cost? I don't know, but whatever it is, you've come to a back street garage because I'm cheaper than a bigger garage. So just whatever it is, it is. I'm not going to overcharge. Anyway, that is why I'm moving away really trying to move away from customer work. I just want to fix motors, make videos for you guys, so all the comments, the likes, they help the boost the video. So any comments, even if you just say a one-liners, all the comments help YouTube's algorithm pick it up that the video is watchable and promote it. The bigger the channel gets, the more time I can spend on project motors rather than customers' motors. I still obviously fix my sister's cars, is my sister you only get one remember or one family i've got two sisters and a brother and two brother-in-laws and they've all got motors or most of them uh anyway no chit chat i'll get a little clip of me and the famalam because it's a week in the life it's not just motors a little clip of me and the famalam at the fair yay and then going for dinner and i'll be back later to carry on oh uh, yeah as you might guess, exhaust has turned up for the Mazda, happy days, and the customer is happy to wait till tomorrow, happily. Um, worked out a plan with the missus, taking the kids to the fair at three o'clock for an hour till four, then go for dinner, then come back for about six. It's actually the carnival tonight at seven, which is right at the bottom of her road. I'm not a big fan of the carnival. She knows I don't really like it, so I haven't got to go. Big shout out to the missus. Thank you for letting me off that one. So I haven't got to go there. Oh, that's heavy. To get a bit of a step ahead, I'm quickly getting this exhaust off. Oh my God, and there's a massive bee. Not the good timing. Gonna get a little bit ahead ready for later. So I'm gonna drop this on the floor. And if you remember these rear exhaust bolts that weren't very pretty, well, I've got to tackle them. I might get time to do it now, it might be later, but at least I've got this exhaust on the floor. And I just remembered, I'm glad I did, on the way back from the caddy meet last night, the under tray to the caddy decided to start hanging down and scraping on the floor. And we're using the caddy to go get dinner. Oh my God, this is heavy. So, I need to... Oh my God, what's going on? Why is this off balance? 
Oh. Anyway, I need to clip the under tray to the caddy back on because it was pissing it down last night. So I just drove with it dragging. Um, let's lay this out. <laughs> oh my God, those bolts. And have a look at what's going on. So this is the bolts we need to undo and take a look at those. It's the same back and front. There's two on this side and there's two on this side. What I am going to do I'm not even going to bother trying undoing them. I'm going to cut them off with a grinder. Then I'll cut a slit all the way through all of it, through the bolt and both of the flange surfaces. Is that weld? Oh, I think it is. And then I'm going to try banging the studs out. Anyway, I'm going to get the grinder, cut these. Let's see if we can get them off. So I'm uh, super ahead for later. So I've got both of them off. Happy days. And I didn't use my method in the end in cutting through long ways because of the way of the bolt i was just able to cut the nuts off and just about save them the gaskets we're having to reuse them i haven't got any new ones um they are still just intact the back boxes check out the metal they are ropey to say the least but after hitting them with the grinder we have got a flat surface a couple of new nuts and bolts they are just about hanging on. There's no holes in them and the surface is nice and flat. They're just a bit ropey around the edges, but they would be fine. The rest of the exhaust box, it's like a stainless exhaust box from factory. All the fittings, all the hangers, but this pipe is moody. Worst case, I would chop the flanges off and weld them on, but this will do. Um, running low on time, and I do still need to do the under tray to the caddy, but I've still got a bit of time. Let's see how far I can get. I actually got the exhaust on, all fitted nicely, and no blows at all. All new nuts and bolts in it. Happy days. I've already done the, the under tray to the caddy. It's quarter to three. I picked the kids up at three. Quickly have a wash. Let's get it done. <sighs> Hi, GoPro. So the missus died her hair since the last time I seen her. So we've got a random stranger in the motor. <laughs> kids, where are we going? Everyone excited? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's go. Where are we going after? Food. Food? Yeah. Subs? Yeah. As in Subway? Yeah, subs. subs. Okay. Subscribe. Yeah, like, subscribe, guys. Um, <laughs> you heard it. <laughs> well, we're going to the fun fair. I am well excited. It's going to be wicked. I've been excited all day. I'm going to go on the I giant inflatable. Oh, we're just going to bounce to the moon back. Okay, so we're going to the fun fair, spend loads of money. Six sounds about right. Six quid? Six. Mum's got six quid. Dad's. Eight. I've only got two quid, is that enough? Oh yeah. No, for most rides are We've got eight. eight quid. Eight, that's good maths, Joey. Well done, yeah. Um, right. Is that enough? No, not really. What do you mean, no? no I would have a million quid. No, there's not even enough for both of us to go on the... Um, Inflatable slide because that's like five pounds per person. How much? I don't know. You ain't, well, person. you ain't going on that. Maybe you can watch the other kids have fun. Stop being me. Oh, anyway, let's get to the fun fair. You're not going on. Cars? Oh yeah. We got like the fastest one here. Uh oh. 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 I want rips. Fun fair done. Dinner time. Oh. Fun fair done. 
kids fed, everyone happy, few quid lighter, back at the workshop, and we saw in the last clip, I got the Mazda done happily, just in the nick of time. Let the customer know, he's happy, he's coming in the morning to pick it up, so I wanted to do the ball joint. I mentioned that, might as well do the last advisory. Got a new ball joint, three pounds. Got it up in the air, got the wheel off. Nothing wrong with this ball joint. Um, it says suspension arm pin or bush. Well, then, that actually, it means bush. But there's nothing wrong with this inner bush. The wheel doesn't move. It doesn't flex. I've levered on it. There's no movement. It just looks a bit peaty. I haven't got another bush. That one is fine. That one can stay. I've put some gear oil in it. I have looked at the oil and the filter. They are recent-ish. Air filter's clean. It's an old tatty motor, 40,000 miles, but it's a pretty stout little motor. It's all right, actually. It should do them another few years. I am all done with fixing, I think, for this week. We've had seven or eight motors in. It's been a bit of a slog. And then we got the caddy done. Late night last night. I am tired, but it's not over yet. Tomorrow's Friday, video's going up tomorrow. I will take the last shot and the outro in the morning if nothing else turns up. Anyway, Sam's here, his transit's back on the road, uh, it's MOT'd and he's got a little toy for his boy. Let's have a butcher's. What's going on Big Green? We are ready, so it's not been started, I reckon 10 years I'd say. <laughs> Sat in my brother's workshop living its best life so. Um, and now it's going to get abused by your boy. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so it didn't have a spark. We started taking the side cover off to check for the stator or the, the points. It hasn't got points, I don't think. It's got a CDI and all that. Anyway, I cleaned a few earth points up and we've got it sparking. Happy days. Tank's going back on. Oh, rubber's hanging off. It's never good. <laughs> this uh is he in the tank's back on have you got the air box is it all down your workshop everything in it all right well we don't need that for the minute anyway transit loving it loving it Big. been off the road for four months I have missed it he loves a transit if you watch the uh caddy meat video you'll see he loves a transit he is like a fiend oh. for a transit loads of caddies and he's all over a transit Anyway, I'll put a bit of squirt in it, fuel line's on. Will it run and drive? Bit of choke, even though it's just popped back in, don't think we need that, it's on run. You've got to pull the uh, brake lever on this one. Oh uh, yeah. Happy days. That's mint, isn't it? Look at it, it wants to go. It wants to go. Yeah, bang. Well, I'm small enough to ride it. Not saying yeah. Grin's a big fellow, but let's put it back together and see how it rides. She's mint. 
tick over to touch eye and it is quite loud. Oh yeah, I got two, should we do QR80? Oh, I reckon you might win with me on it. Sweet though. Yeah, they are. Let's keep them happy. Mm. Anyway, let's see what Friday has in store. So it's still Thursday, where I had an idea. Let's get the little bikes out. I'm on the PW80, Grin's on the RT100. It looks like a PW80 with me on. <laughs> it does, tyre looks flat with you on it, but it's all good. Let's go. We're only going up and down the estate. Oh, it's green. It is mint, that thing. Up down, up there. I think so. Round the track! Yeah. Oh yeah! <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Fun. Oh, I love this little thing. That's good too, isn't it? Rips. It does go it's well. A little bad, Considering it's only a hundred cc air cooled, it must have. Oh, what am I doing? It must have a racing a v, reed Scott valve. Must have a reed valve. Let's have a quick bite on this one. Oh. oh. What? Yeah. Throwing them on the floor like kids, isn't I? This is wicked. I paid less than 300 quid for this one. I did pay 700 for the PW. It is a genuine PW. It's no Zong Shen or whatever. That's the 80, isn't it? That is the 80. So it's got four, three or four gears, can't remember. And it's auto, semi-auto, so no clutch. This thing is wicked. 
Get here, look, you know I said I was quieting in the bikes down. Check out the back box. Oh, it was like a seven quid back box. Sure. Is that from Wuhan? Like that? Yeah. Wicked. Anyway, we will skip to tomorrow now. We've had our We're probably going to have another go, but off camera. Let's see what tomorrow brings. Oh, yeah. Friday is finally here. Happy days. It's been a mediocre, busy week. Maybe three, four years ago, I would have had four or five motors every single day. So, this week has not been too bad at all. We fixed a few motors, I've helped out my sister, all is good. Um, had a good bit of fun on the bikes last night with Grin. We did enjoy it. And before anyone moans about helmets, we're doing like 20 miles an hour tops, 15. I know it don't make it right. Don't copy what I do. I'm just showing you. Anyway, we have fun on the bikes. Just having a spruce up from the week. I have been tidying up in between, but in a workshop, if you don't have a good spruce up, it can build up fast. Um, Tomorrow, Saturday, I have Riley, a friend of mine with the caddy, and my other pal Darren, they're coming down. I need to fit some coilovers to Riley's caddy. That is Saturday, only in the morning. It's not gonna to take too long. Uh, spend some time with the kids and the missus. Hopefully the sun comes out. The weather is absolutely pony at the minute. What are we in? End of July, it's raining. It's not cold, but it's raining. Hopefully a bit of sun soon. That QR50, that was my MOT man's. He lent it to me maybe six years ago. It was his son's, so he's probably had that 30 years. He lent it to me for my older boy, Lucas, and he said, bring it back when you're finished. Well, Joey's got a collection of toys, so we don't need that one. And when I got it, it was really old and tatty. So I've relacquered the plastics. I, I done it all for Christmas for Lucas. Relacquered the plastics, painted the frame black, new forks, painted them black, and I put a new seat cover and I painted the wheels. It's meant to have gold wheels. When I'd done it, I took it down to the MOT man. He said, well, look at that. But, oh man, you've painted the wheels white. They're meant to have gold wheels. MOT man has been away for two weeks. So he will be back Monday. I'm not going to give it back like that. I'm going to paint the wheels gold and I'm going to give it back to him Monday. Give it back how I, uh, how I borrowed it. This video is going up today. It's Friday morning, video this evening. Big shout out to all you guys that uh, commented on my post saying a week in the life. Yeah, nice one. Um, I do have a video of the caddy meet. That would be going up Sunday. And then I have another shorter video, maybe about 10 minutes, about some super duper LED bulbs for the caddy I was sent out. Short video on that, that'd be Wednesday. And then next week, I will try to get back to the T5 rear suspension, because that's the project motor. And I know a lot of you, a lot of you guys like that at the minute. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, I'm a few videos ahead. So hopefully we won't get to a Friday and there won't be a video again. Anyway, I've enjoyed this, it's been easy. Whatever I get up to off camera um, is just fixing motors to pay the bills. I don't have loads of customers because I'm not one for chasing money anymore. I'm happy with what I've got. Uh, it's a lot hassle free, it's a lot stress free, and I enjoy that. I've enjoyed this video. So if you've enjoyed it, let me know in the comments. Because remember, all the comments and likes help YouTube's algorithm pick it up and boost the video more, which boosts the channel more, which helps me fund project stuff. Uh, anyway, that is about it from this week. If you've enjoyed the video, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.